Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here with three birthday cards today. I'm showcasing the latest products by my favorite things. I have the whole release here today, but instead of doing an unboxing video, I decided to share three birthday cards where I will be working with lots and lots of the new products so you can see them in action. I have already picked here three of my favorite stamp sets from this month and I will start with the first card using this stamp set. This one is called Best Friends in the Universe and it comes packed with stamps. As you can see it has a rocket, lots of planets, there are two astronauts as well as a cat and a dog. You can get separately the matching dies, I just like to store them together with the stamps. So for this card I'm going to use this navy blue cardstock, this is 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half and I'm going to show you the easiest way to create space. So all I'm going to do is to bring in my watercolors and these are metallic watercolors. I added lots of water on the white one, this uh, gives a lovely iridescent look and at the same time it's going to give a lovely shine on the stars that I'm going to create. So I'm just going to add some splashes, you can add lots of them. Notice that I first test it out at the back, just to make sure that these splashes aren't coming too big. So once I was happy with the result, I went ahead and added lots and lots of these splashes. I'm going to leave this aside to dry and I will work on my focal point. So I'm planning to do some stamping and create a little scene in space. And for stamping I'm going to use the new Misty. This, is, uh, this works just like the previous one, but it is updated, so you see it overhangs, the door overhangs there, so you can easily open and close it. Probably you can see how the lip works there. The hinges are metallic, so if you ever had any problems with that, now they are sturdier. It also comes with a foam, just like always. The pink rulers are not stickers, now they are edged, as well as the um, a grid on the door. And there is also a little area there to hold your magnet. If you already have a Misty that works just fine, there is no need to upgrade to this one. But if you don't have a stamping platform, then I would suggest to go with the new version. So anyway, I'm going to pick one of the astronauts, I'm going to pick a few of the planets. And I'm going to do some stamping. For that I'm working with Extreme Black Ink. This is by my favorite things and it is compatible with alcohol markers. And since I'm going to share three cards today, I'm going to edit out the coloring. However, I did use my Triblend markers. I tend to grab these lately since I like that they have all three shades in one barrel. So they are perfect for quick and simple coloring. If you are following the same design, then you can just use your favorite coloring medium to color in the images, and then I use the matching dies to cut everything out. Now the stars, the splashes that I have on my background cardstock are completely dry now. I have played a little bit with the placement, and once I was happy, I went ahead and started sticking everything down. Now for the planets I went with my Nouveau Deluxe glue so they are laying flat and they look as if they are far at the background. For the spaceship as well as for the astronaut I'm going to go with foam squares at the back so I can pop them on top. For this piece I'm using some Nouveau Deluxe glue and then I went ahead and stamped my sentiment. The sentiment uh, is from the same stamp set and it says all systems are go cool for a happy birthday. And when I decided on the placement, I realized that I liked it where that green planet was. So all I had to do was to peel off very carefully that green planet so that I can cover up that booboo that I have there with uh, the sentiment. And this is going to lay flat. And it looks as if he is holding the sentiment. And then I'm going to use that green planet and just take it down in another place. To finish off the card, I have to stick this panel on top of a pre-folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. But I usually like to have a little border all around my main panels. I think it looks uh, finished this way, so I just chopped off just a little bit, about a quarter of an inch from each side. I like to stick my panels with uh, Nouveau Deluxe glue or any other liquid glue just because when you place it on top you can easily slide it to make sure that you have an even border. To finish off my card I used my glossy accents on uh, the astronaut helmet and on the window of the spaceship. And here are some close-up photos on the first card that I made for today.
For the second card, I'm going to play with another favorite stamp set from this month. This is called Picture Perfect Party Animals. It comes with six different animals holding balloons or celebrating birthdays. I think you will have lots of fun with this stamp set, especially if you love coloring stamped images. Now, you can follow the exact same design that I'm going to do today with all those different images and end up with a set of six different birthday cards. I'm going to go with uh, the image that uh, features those two parrots. I think they are just adorable. I'm going to stamp it on white cardstock with uh, extreme black ink again. Again, I'm working with this ink just because it's not going to smudge or smear. It is alcohol marker compatible. Again, I will work with my alcohol markers and color in this image. And I'm not going to share how I did all the coloring. I usually prefer focusing on the design of a card rather than sharing a really long video where all I'm doing is coloring. But just in case you are wondering, I did use my tree blend alcohol markers by Crafters Companion to do some quick coloring and shading. So here it is all ready to go. Now I'm going to create a little Polaroid picture. So I am aligning with the plastic guard the line of the image. This way I will have the exact same border on all three sides and at the bottom I'm going to leave enough space so that it looks like a Polaroid picture and at the same time I do have enough space there to stamp my sentiment. From the same stamp set I'm going to pick one of the sentiments and I went with the one that says have your selfie a very happy birthday. Again, I'm going to place it on my misty now that I did all that coloring. I don't want to make a boo-boo while stamping the sentiment. That's why I'm going the safe way. For my card, I want to use a fun pattern paper as the background. So I brought in the two paper pads that have just been released by my favorite things. I usually like to browse through the papers and lay on top my focal point and see how it looks. So this one is called Party Plate. And the other one is called Buffalo Brides. And after playing a little bit and trying to decide which one I'm going to use, I decided to go with a plaid one that has both uh, yellows and blues. I think it matches perfectly with the colored image. Now I have a pre-folded card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm going to stick on top my pattern paper. And for that, I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe glue. So this is going to lay completely flat. Now I want to give the effect that my Polaroid picture is stuck down with uh, washi tape and I did find in my stash this uh, colored washi tape which is perfect for the colors of my image. However, it is quite wide so I'm going to customize it. I'm just using my ruler and my craft knife. I'm going to make it thinner and notice that I'm not afraid to cut directly on top of my glass mat. It doesn't leave any marks. Now I'm going to cut this piece into smaller pieces and of course these are not going to hold my polaroid image on top of my card base i need to add some glue to make sure that this is not going to fall but then i can add these uh, washi tape pieces as an accent the fun part about using washi tape is that you can always peel it off and uh, reposition it but if you want to make sure that this is not going to fall on you you can always use some white glue at the back to finish off my card, I added a few blue gems just to add some extra sparkle. And here are some close-up photos on the second birthday card for today. And let's move on to the third card for today. For this one, I'm going to combine this big stamp set. This is perfect for birthdays with lots and lots of images of uh, cats and mouse uh, holding uh, balloons or gifts. And I'm going to combine it with this big birthday wishes die. And I'm going to show you how you can customize it. There are so many different ways on how you can use this stamp. So the idea here is instead of using the whole thing, I'm going to omit the word big. And I'm just going to use the bottom part that says birthday wishes and do some partial die cutting. But first, let's start with the background panel. And I have a small panel here. I'm going to add some Distress Oxide ink. And I absolutely love how dreamy they are to blend. One of my favorite color combos that I go back to again and again is Cracked Pistachio and Peacock Feathers. I cannot get enough of this combination. So I am uh, adding more and more layers on top 
just because I want this to be quite saturated. And I'm using my new blending uh, brushes by Altenew just because I want to cover up a bigger area and this makes this job easy. As my focal image, I decided to go with this stamp with the little dog and the big birthday present. I'm going to stamp it again with my extreme black ink and color it again with my alcohol markers. And I did use my scissors to cut all around it. So you can see here I have it ready to go. And now it's time to do the die cutting. So on the panel that is um, completely dry now, I'm going to place the die on top. And I'm using a T-ruler just to make sure that uh, the words are going to be nice and straight there. I'm going to secure them down with some purple tape so that I know that this die is not going to move on me as I need to have that sentiment completely straight. And I'm ready to do some partial die cutting. I know exactly where that big word ends. So I'm going to bring in my cutting plates and I'm going to place the top cutting plate making sure that it's not going to exceed that line. So only the bottom two lines are going to be cut out. It doesn't really matter where you place the bottom plates, they can cover up completely the cardstock as long as the top plate does not exceed the area that you want to cut. So here is my birthday wishes panel that I have cut out. I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back and I'm going to stick that directly on top of my card base. Make sure that you don't throw away the letters, although I am using the negative, you can use the letters as a sentiment on another card. I'm also going to stick inside the letters all those little pieces. And I'm going to pop on top with foam squares my little image. This focal point is slightly bigger than the actual card, but I really like having pieces coming out of the borders and I find it really cute. Of course, I can pop it inside a bigger envelope or create a custom made one just for this card. To finish it off again, I added a few gems here and there just for some extra sparkle that is always needed on a birthday card. And here are some close-up photos on all the three cards that I made for today, featuring products from the latest release by my favorite things. Down below in the description area, just like always, you will find links to everything I used. Don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know which one of the three cards was your favorite. Just like always, I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired and I'll see you all next time.